How to Hide an Erection. <laughs> that is what we're going to be talking about today on Outside the Comfort Zone. Welcome. Hello, guys. Welcome to Outside the Comfort Zone, where we talk about things we probably shouldn't talk about. Probably not, like how to hide an erection. How do you hide an erection? It's actually a delicate topic because um, it you, depends like what kind of pants you're wearing. It yeah. depends on... But what we did is I wanted to know because I most of the time have an erection. That's great. And I need to learn how to hide it. How do you Especially hide it? Especially like... Around children, around the elderly, people that get offended. People that turn you on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, hi, welcome to Outside the Cover Zone, where we're talking about things we probably shouldn't talk about. This is the start of the podcast now. No, it's not. Um, <laughs> Mitch, leave that in. That was so good. Um, okay. <laughs> That's the so thing I've ever said. Let's, ju- <laughs> let's just talk about how to hide an erection because of, like... Uh, Women over eighteen <laughs> that that sometimes will cause an erection in a in a in a man mm-hmm. over eighteen. Sure. So we found a WikiHow article because I googled it the other day. Yeah, Justin how was like, "How do I erection. hide this erection?" Because I'm having a lot of troubles with it lately because it's so large. Um, actually, I got a bunch of Snapchats. Let me just read these. Um, so this person wants us to talk about Christmas stories, and I I'm just gonna say no because that's not. We'll talk um, about that next week. We'll just, what is this? We'll talk about... Can you guys talk about conspiracy theories and aliens and weird stuff like that? Because I love that stuff and Fuck I would yeah. like to know more. Okay, conspiracy theories and aliens. Write that down. We'll talk okay. about that after. We'll talk about that First, uh, talk next about... week. We'll prepare about that next week. Next week oh, yeah. is conspiracy theories and Christmas. Yeah. You better not throw away this paper. Conspiracy Christmas. I won't. I'll just put it on my desk. I have a proper proper desk for this kind of stuff, so... Uh, when we were planning this, I just want everyone to know that I forgot how to spell Christmas. Yeah, she did. She <laughs> wrote Chris, and then she kind of like looked at me, and then she was like, Chris. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you forgot how to spell Christmas. Anyways. I didn't know if there was a T in it or not, because yeah, there I'm is. an idiot. Christ mass. Christ mass. Um, Religion. Ugh. I'm just going to slide my chair back, and I'm just going to get up. Okay, great. Um, so, welcome to the, the podcast, guys. This is, I guess, the... The very beginning of it. So, uh, how's your week going? Hopefully, it's good. If you guys saw last week's podcast, you know that we're really hoping to get some more patrons. And I just want to quickly at the beginning shout out Sarah, Melly, Cheryl, and Megan. Thank you so much for supporting us. And if you want to be a patron where you can support us and get rewards like shout outs, then you can go to Outside the Comfort Zone on Patreon. Also, today we're going to be, oh my god, Justin's making me want to kill him even more. Um, he's getting some Teddy Grahams, and he better be bringing me some Teddy Grahams. But it's too loud near the mic. You better fucking bring me a teddy gram, motherfucker. Um, what was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying because Justin distracted me with the food. Um, why, yes, please. Thank you so much for a teddy gram. I was saying something, but it does not matter. Um, oh, we're going to read reviews of our podcast on iTunes. Don't eat while you talk, Ashley. It's very rude. <laughs> You're a piece of shit. Okay. Okay, I'm going to get to the reviews and you speak about stuff. Well, I was going to talk about how to hide an erection. All right. At, it's like, it. it's on my computer screen right here, like the whole WikiHow article, and I just keep looking at this man. <laughs> with <laughs> an erection? Who was without it. Okay. So, this is um, how to hide an erection. Most every guy has found himself in a potentially compromising position. If you have an erection and need to make it go away, the best thing you can do is take some steps to cope with the situation gracefully. True. Um, this is what you want to do. Step one. Pin your erection close to your body <laughs> using a hand in your pocket. So you reach into your pocket with your hand, pull your penis towards your leg. Or preferably with an actual pin. Oh, that too. <laughs> <laughs> that noise was like pure, like, oh no. Just bobby pin it. Yep. Um, if you're sitting so down, cool. simply put a hand in your pocket. Using your thumb, gently nudge your erection down so that it's resting against your thigh. Basically jack off slowly. Just nudge it. Just yeah. nudge it a little bit. Um, yeah, it's pretty much the same thing if you're standing up. Um, try not to put pressure on your erection. Because the more come. yeah, the more you stimulate <laughs> it, the longer to last. Um, use large items to conceal your crotch region. Oh, for me, it would be a very small item. I could use very pretty much anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, small USB drive. A Keurig cup. You could just kind of put your penis in there. You know. Well, <laughs> no. Um, Is that not how penises work? Yeah, you could you could stay seated or find a seat. Um, because it's easier to conceal Stay it that way. Stay seated all day. Cross your legs up. and lean gently forward Looks so that like your shirt your shirt covers your crotch. Or just wear long shirts all yeah. the way down to your knees, gentlemen. Just in case you always get an erection. Yes. Um, use an everyday item like a backpack, a briefcase, or a computer and rest it on your lap. Do they want you to walk around with a backpack in front of your <laughs> Yeah. 
It's horrible advice. Don't do that. I don't think you should do that. That's I think good. it's better to just walk around with your dick out than like walk around with a backpack in front of your pants. Uh, or you could step three: go to the bathroom or other private space ah. and reveal it. Reveal. It, it says it says conceal it. Use your belt or the top of your pants. Position your erection between the pants and your stomach. Just make sure no one lifts your shirt or they'll see your <laughs> they'll weenie. They'll see your weenie. <laughs> um, number four is plan ahead. If you frequently need to hide an erection, try clothing options that make it easier to conceal. Stay away from exotic fabrics. <gasps> Wait, is that why every boy in seventh grade wore skinny jeans? Yes. Okay, <laughs> great. I feel like I just learned a big thing. Mm-hmm. Um, looser jeans tend to shield the erection, and tighter jeans accentuate it. <laughs> oh, so they wanted people to know. They wanted people to know okay. that they were hard. Um, that makes wear me looser, question. Yeah, you want to wear crushes. looser clothes. Um, you may love that pair of silk boxers you wear every Friday, but the fabric may be causing you to get an erection. <laughs> Again, so turned on by some silk. Do not wear silk. Um, take a walk. Um, with your erection successfully pinned under your hand, <laughs> what? You stick your hand in your pants, grab your erection, and take a walk. Because <laughs> then the vibration of moving with your hand, yeah. you're basically just going to come in your pants. Yeah, and then it'll go away. I hope your neighbors can hear everything we're saying. Uh, they can hear a lot of things, like if the, oh, the window is open, yeah. Beautiful. But they can hear, like, I sing a lot. Good. Yeah, I sing a lot. Do you I'm... get tips ever thrown at the balcony? No. Oh, that's sad. They're usually pretty high, though, so. Okay, great. Try not to draw attention to yourself while walking away from a group. Um, go for a glass of water or excuse yourself to the restroom. And masturbate there. Walking around helps move the blood flow from your crotch area to your feet. So every time you start to just like jog in place, you know. Yeah, you know you're going to get. boy's got an erection. Yeah. Hold something cold in your lap. Oh, yeah, you want to like cool <laughs> down the penis so it shrivels up. That's good stuff. <laughs> just shrivel inside of your body. Yeah. That's fun. Is that a picture of an eyebrow? No, that is a pen on some paper. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, distract yourself. Oh, try worrying about something important. Ooh. Like your bills, mm -hmm. financial decisions. Like how you never pleasure your girlfriend. That could be a fun one. <laughs> Some people find that thinking about parents, <laughs> doing everyday things helps. We naturally bi biologically block against thinking of our parents while we're aroused. Hey, Freud didn't think so. Freud thought that we were all sexually attracted to our opposite parent. So maybe don't do that. Because uh, if you keep an erection while you're thinking about your parents, that's just going to give you a lot of issues. Yeah, maybe you should just don't try that. Just don't try that. Um, don't worry about the erection. Uh, just let it fly. Let it. Let it show. You know. Be proud. Um, try reading or watching something that will take your mind, like porn, like or, porn. or erotica. None of these tips were go to the bathroom and fix it. Like none of them were like. like well, just how would you masturbate. fix it? Oh, like yeah, just get off. Yeah, just get off. That's usually what I do when I have an erection. Yeah, every I just 20 stick minutes it in the at nearest work. female. <laughs> at work. <laughs> yeah. Just the nearest one. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Cool. No criteria at all. Oh, and then there's some tips. Okay, great. Never flex or perform Kegel exercises. Flexing will increase blood flow to the crotch and make can you your do erection Kegels last longer. Kegels with your penis? I don't know. What's a Kegel? It's when you like I can do them right now. Like you just. That's where you don't do that on my chair. <laughs> I don't like that. Don't do that while you're sitting in my just place. Just like clench and unclench. It when just at the makes beach, you tighter. When at the beach, try to wear swim briefs under a pair of board shorts. That's a good idea. Fun times. Put your hand in your pockets and make a fist. This usually works oh. if you're wearing tight pants. Oh, because you bring your pants away from the... Oh, that doesn't work fine. when you have a large... Um, um. You, may, you may find it helpful to attempt a difficult mental math problem. Try to do 23 times 57 without writing anything down. Don't do Blood that. will flow to the brain in order to solve the problem and flow away from your penis. You know, do that. Do that while you're having sex if you come too early, too. Just be like, <laughs> yeah, oh, just 23 thinking. times 15. 23 times 47. You're like, mm, 543. I'm too smart. Nailed it. Penis is still hard. That'd be funny if that was right. Yeah. So, um, so that was good. We learned that today. I hope that you all appreciated the really helpful tips that, that I believe it helps had. a lot yeah. yeah I think so too and girls if you see guys doing any of this stuff you know why yeah a any walking any hands in pockets you're like he's got an erection they're concealing yeah guys do not put their hands in pockets unless they're concealing an erection no you're always holding the ween if there's ever if you're on a <laughs> if you're ever on a date and hands go in pockets you just gave him an erection the date's yeah. going really well good job yeah <laughs> it's going so well um, so that's WikiHow done. Good stuff. Done. So uh, do you want to tell us about how Mad Max was a shitty movie? 
Yeah, Mad Max. Okay, so everyone was like freaking out about Mad Max, like especially like film kind of people, because those are the kind of people that they like, hang out with, like super cool film people. Oh, um, man, slime. Um, and they're all like, "Yeah, Mad Max was awesome, and it was like so good, and it's like awesome." And then I watched it, and it wasn't. Like, it was just kind of really depressing. Like, the entire thing is just, like, a car chase, but there's not really any story to it. I'm going to get ripped apart, because people love that movie. People are obsessed with it. People are obsessed with it. But, like, I just didn't... I mean, I didn't really feel anything. Like, when people were dying, I was like, meh. And then, like... Eh, I mean, it was shot really cool. Like, cinema... cinema It was, like, really cool. But, like... Of course. The actual, like, movie itself, like, it just... I don't know. I haven't seen it. I don't even know what it's about. There's, like, no water or something. And that's yeah. about it. Should yeah, we, it's like... What's her name? Thrawn. Charlie's Theron. Charlie's Theron. Charlie Sheen. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> Charlie yeah, Sheen is in it. Yeah, he's the main yeah. character in it. Great. Um, okay, so we got some stuff from Snapchat. So you hear that Ch- Charlie Sheen has like something wrong HIV. with HIV. Yeah, he has HIV. Yeah. I was like, he probably doesn't have tiger blood anymore, hey? <laughs> Maybe that's how he got it. Maybe. Ooh. Um, Having sex with tigers. Would yeah. you do the frick frack with Vladimir Putin? What's frick frack? The fuckening. What the fucking The fucking. This sounds like a, a website that you're going to have an article on soon. <laughs> uh, I really, I'm so excited to do that reading hate comments. I need to make sure that like when we come over, we should film that on the 22nd. Yeah, we can do that. When I come over, I need to make sure I'm in like a really good positive mood. Like, so I can tear you down. There should be pizza here just so when people are like, yeah, she's fine, but she's got small tits. I can be like, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to get implants soon anyway. <laughs> I'm getting a boob job. It's fine. <laughs> um... So, would you fuck Vladimir Putin? Um, if it would help me move up in the Russian army, I probably would, yeah. Wonderful, same. Um, are you going to get any tattoos? Uh, yeah, I'll probably get a tattoo of a penis on my forehead. Ah. Because I'm trying to, um, pro- <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to, uh, protest, um, sexual, um, prejudice against women. Okay. So, I think that they should be able to expose their breasts to me whenever they want. Yeah. So I'm going to expose my penis to them all the time. That's but not like my actual cool. penis, just yeah. a tattoo. Because like that would be slutty if you did yeah, that. Yeah, that's gross. Um, do you like girls? No. Okay, great. Me either. I just have to deal with them because they're the opposite sex. Uh, I like this guy, but recently he ki- he was kissed. He was kissed my best friend and also had sexual relations with her. <laughs> <laughs> By that I mean fingered her. What should I do? By okay. that I mean fingered her. <laughs> okay, so... I like this guy, but recently he kissed my best friend and fingered her. What do I do? Oh, okay, that, that makes a lot more sense than what she actually wrote. <laughs> um, well, maybe go to, go to English class. Stop worrying about uh, your friends so much. Maybe learn how to write a proper fucking sentence. How about that? <coughs> <laughs> All right. I'm joking and dying. Um, uh, you know, be happy for your friend and like someone else who doesn't finger your best friend. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if he fingers your best friend, he's probably husband material. So. This guy wants to know what the best place to meet girls are. Where's the best place to meet girls? Wait, can I can I snap him back? Yeah, please do. I, I Besides think, school, like, work, and bars. Oh, well... Wait, who uh, was that? Uh, it was uh, Brent. Brent. At the strip club. <laughs> Snapchat. What are you going to say? I'm saying Snapchat. Oh. <laughs> I'm snapping him back. I have a picture on my face. Is this Aaron? I don't know. Let's see. She's not me. She's like in love with you. Oh, I love Aaron. Thanks, Aaron. Aaron's the greatest. She is. She is the greatest. Uh, she's really nice. Um. Okay. Anyways. Talk about conspiracy. Theories. Talk about. Conspiracy oh yeah, conspir- conspiracy so theories that's be and all next that week. kind of stuff. Um. What are the questions you have for me? I don't know. <laughs> that was, it's got a weird stop in the middle thing. Mitchell fix that. Yeah. Um, yeah, Canadian products are more... Because our dollar sucks. Yeah. Our dollar's like really low right now. But it's great when you're getting paid in US. It just... Ugh, it we, just ups it oh, so much. Oh, YouTube pays you in US dollars? Mm. Oh, that's kind of cool. And I'm like, every time I get my check, I'm like, that's not very much. And then I transfer it to Canadian and I'm like, oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know, not me. Because like, if I want to go to the States at all or anything, like, or if I want to buy anything online... It's like thirty dollars Canadian, and it's I'm not like, good. we no. don't like it. Stop being so expensive, goddamn. Or it's like, yeah, no, it's like thirty dollars American or one hundred and eighty dollars Canadian. I'm like, what? It's way too fucking expensive. Like, it feels like Canadian dollars are just like yen now. What's the nicest way to break up with a boy who hurt you? Um, 
Just be like, you hurt me, sleep we're done. With his, sleep with his best friend. Definitely do that. That'd be fun. Yeah. Um, do you have any unpopular opinions? I feel like Justin has like all of the I'm pretty sure opinions. all my opinions are unpopular. I don't know. I like to think that I'm pretty PC. But you know what? The last week, I've just been like, people are so fucking sensitive over absolutely nothing. Like the Starbucks cup thing a couple oh, yeah. of people like, are just a month insane. ago. Yeah. I was like, that's not a fucking problem. You guys are all ridiculous. Like, I just... Sometimes I just hate people, you know? People are just so fucking annoying so many times. I really like people one-on-one, but in big yeah. groups, like, everyone's so dumb. Everyone's just, like, sheeps. Everyone's sheeps. Everyone's sheeps and following stupid people, and I just hate it. But, you know, that's why you know, I, I do I don't know. people. I have unpopular opinions about pretty much everything. Like what? Uh, <laughs> Throw yourself under the bus right now, Justin. I don't know. People yell at me a lot for stuff I say. Yeah. But, I mean, on here, it's, like, nine times out of ten a joke. Yeah, nine times out of ten. Nine times out of ten. Except like, for the 9-11 thing. Like, like, <laughs> obviously, I do not believe in any sort of religious stuff. Yeah. So I have pretty strong opinions about that. Yeah. About how it's, like, brainwashing everyone. I think, like, I understand religion, and I totally support anyone's right to believe in whatever they want. But the point where it becomes annoying to me is when you introduce it into, like, government and legislature. Oh, and you try and make, yeah. Like, people who are just like, ooh, we can't have abortions because God says no. Or you're killing yeah. God's child. Or, like, when people just try to... Because there's a separation of church and state for a fucking reason. Believe in whatever you want. That's totally your right. But also, fuck you if you think it's going <laughs> to enter into government in any way. It's yeah. Shit. Or, like, and, uh, like, there's lots of stuff that I think, like, like, I don't 100% believe in, like, ADHD. You're gonna have fun with that one. <laughs> like, I believe that, like, 90% of kids that have ADD or ADHD are just, like, they don't. <laughs> okay, the, I feel like definitely people like, get medicated too early for no reason. I feel like kids need to be disciplined a lot better. Mm-hmm. Like, they were in the old days. Like, when our parents grew up, nobody had ADHD. But then Do you think also, it just kind of came out of nowhere? I don't think it came out of nowhere. I think mental health became a lot more of a prevalent thing. Like, before, people would suppress it and just be like, oh, you're just, you just need to handle it, like, because it wouldn't be talked about. And now, it's getting a little I, bit more... I think it's getting, more, like, a little out of hand. I think pe- there is a very small amount of people who use it to their advantage, and they're like, ooh, you know, it's ADD, a very weird. large amount of people who use it to their I advantage. I think there's a large amount of people, because it's, like, if it's something that you deal with, you know that it's a problem, you know? Like, very rarely do people claim to have anxiety when they don't because, like, anxiety is a very crippling thing, right? So why would you want to claim to have it? I think it's just something that we talk about a lot more openly now. But there's a lot of things, like, I think that, like, there's a lot of teenagers or, like, young people that use that kind of stuff to their advantage. I think it's glamorized. I think you're right. Yeah, I think this is like, oh, I'm... Or, like, I have depression. Yeah. When really you just need attention, you need people to love you. Yeah. Well, like, that's a, that's a big difference. Yeah. I like mean... people are like, I'm depressed. It's like, well, no, you just need more people to help support you. So, like, tell them that you need that. Don't tell them, oh, I'm depressed, I need drugs or whatever like that. No. I think... I understand what you're saying, and I think that sometimes that's right. I think I feel like my mind is, like, in the 70s. It's, like, glamorized a lot. Like, the media glamorizes it and makes it look great because like then people are gonna talk to you all the time and like make sure that you're okay but like people who claim to have depression and just want attention like that's such a shitty thing because people who deal with that like it's a life changing crippling sort of thing to deal with also I don't really understand allergies okay well where the fuck is that coming from no I mean like stuff like oh I'm gluten intolerant or I'm your mom has celiac well I know that's an actual like thing but like I don't understand why there wasn't anything like that. I think it's before because food has so many more chemicals and hormones and stuff. In Maybe there. yeah, because I've been trying to figure that out. Like, cause like my dad was talking about like in school there was one kid with a peanut allergy that he knew of, and nobody yeah. else had allergies he knew of. My cousin has a peanut allergy, and it's like it's well now you go to food school is and so fucking processed. Literally everybody is allergic to everything. Like we like, would not bring... survive a zombie apocalypse at fucking all. No, anyone with an allergy, you would be dead in five seconds. Yeah, that's crazy. No one would take you along. Like, I can tell you, if I was in a group of people and someone was like, I can't eat peanuts, I'd be like, well, guess what? We're going to eat you because yeah, you're going to die. we're going to eat you, and then maybe you'll be able to eat peanuts. Exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Like, it's it's crazy. Like, I feel like it's also, like, a lot of, like, what you get fed as a kid. Yeah. Like, 
I hate the parents who are like, oh, I'm just going to feed my kids uh, vegan for the first, like, <laughs> how many years of their life, so they... But I also see where they're coming from, like, eating more raw, you don't get as many chemicals, and, like... Well, yeah, healthier. but, like, but and then just, just eat, like, good meat, too, then. Yeah. I mean, I'm trying to not eat red meat, because I know it's so fucking bad for you. Yeah, it's not. But, like, it is so bad for you. We've been eating red meat for, like, thousands of years. Okay, Mr. I watch documentaries and I want to make one. Fucking watch a documentary about red meat. It is... Horrible. They can make you. a documentary about anything and make it look awful. You'd be like, lettuce is ruining our lives. <laughs> How much scientific evidence would you have about lettuce? What were we even talking about? I had something if to we, say about what If we you were had a about. cow. Okay. You raised it. Yeah. It ate grass. Okay. Like a normal cow fucking should. Sure. You killed the cow, took the meat, sure. cooked the meat. Yeah. It's 100% good but for you. But that's not what we do to cows no, anymore. No, no, it's not. But red meat is not bad for you. All the shit they put in it is. Okay. But like, actual meat is not bad for you. But it is now because of all the shit that they put into it. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, people, like, uh, I don't know. People but like, baby you, themselves so much. if you raise a cow and it's eating grass, then, I mean, it's probably, it's not as good for you as, like, vegetables and things, but it's not going to, like, kill you slowly. It's way better for you than vegetables. Wrong. But <laughs> your body needs the proteins from but that. But you can get protein from other things. Yeah, like chickpeas, like fuck oh that. Oh my god, I've made so many roasted chickpeas the other night. They're so, so fucking stupid. good. They're so good. So stupid. They're so fucking like, good. Like hummus is okay. Hummus isn't like hummus. as good as roasted chickpeas. No, I like hummus. Like spicy hummus is good. But like, I don't know. What were we talking about? I had something fun to say about what we were talking about originally and I can't remember. I don't know. It was Very like controversial sad. opinions. Oh yeah. We were talking about depression and anxiety and Oh, yeah. ADHD and religion, how religion is a scam. Anyways, just like, you know. And how churches make millions. Oh, that's bullshit. Ugh. Like, they should pay taxes. That's so ridiculous. Yeah, so stupid. A charity. What are you giving money to? Yeah, to the Lord. Like, to God. Off. God doesn't need money. If mm -hmm. he's really that great, yeah, I'm pretty sure he can do whatever he wants. Yeah, he's a, a omnipotent. 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 He's an on onomatopoeia. He's an onomatopoeia. <laughs> Anyways, because moving on. doesn't exist. I don't believe in onomatopoeias. No, they don't exist. No. No. Or verbs. Verbs do not exist. <laughs> verbs do not exist. So, you have news. What do I have news about? Stories. I'm pregnant. Justin's pregnant. Um, that's why he's getting fat. <laughs> that's... That was mean. <laughs> that's why I look so fucking fat. It's because I'm <laughs> pregnant now. No, okay, so there's this thing where this, um, this businessman mm. in a suit. In a suit? Walked through, like, New York City or something. Yeah in stilettos i need to pee so bad to like bring awareness to how hard it is to walk in high heels and what women go through i mean i don't think there needs to be any awareness brought to that i think that's a stupid cause i was like, like that's hurt pretty feet. fucking dumb if it hurts your feet don't wear them yeah i mean that's i think that that's it's ridiculous. like i think like the whole thing about like how women have to dress uncomfortably and they have to look a certain way in public. It's like, no, wear comfortable shit. Like, you can still look nice wearing comfortable stuff. It is. Fucking, like, wear some flat boots. You know how much those hurt my feet? Not at all. Yeah. You know how cute they look? So They're fucking like, I have to wear cute. these high heels every day. I'm like, you probably don't. No, that's, I think that's totally something that, like, not even society pressures you to do, but that's, like, a pressure that we put on ourselves. It's like, yeah. oh, we need our butt to look good and blah, blah, blah. If you want to wear high heels, wear fucking high heels. But if you don't, don't blame society for that. Just yeah, don't, don't be like, fucking men don't understand. I have to wear high heels every day. Yeah, that's just one of those like, things where it's like, people are too sensitive. That's not a real problem. Yeah. So, like, yeah, there's this whole thing about this guy. Yeah, this guy wore stilettos through, like, to, like, bring awareness to it and stuff like that. And I think he just wanted to wear stilettos. Apparently his, um... Apparently his uh, feet were very sore. Oh, what it's a like, good reporting story! Yeah, it's like no shit. Your he feet had are sore. no news. He was like, "Oh, someone already ate Nutella for seven days. Fuck! What else can I do? <laughs> yeah, what else can I do? Oh, I'm gonna wear stilettos to bring awareness to stupid chicks." Um, he just has a foot fetish, and he wanted to wear. And then there's a supermarket, uh, Chickopee Walmart. What? <laughs> I, I guess Ch Chickopee is a place okay. in the states. Is it roasted Chickopee? <laughs> uh, no. Uh, Walmart. Oh, it's this in Massachusetts. 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 Um, and a, a, there's um, a flock of birds got inside the Walmart and started eating the raw meat. Oh. So they all came in, and people, people were blaming Walmart and being like, "This is disgusting. We that need to boycott is Walmart's Walmart." Fault. Yeah. So like these birds come in, and like the, the employees are like trying to get the birds to go away, but they're like picking at the raw meat and stuff like that, like on the thing. They're like going ham, yeah. and like people are <laughs> <laughs> they're going ham. They, but people are, like, boycotting. Like, that's the reason that they're boycotting Walmart, not because they don't pay their employees a fair wage. It's like, there was a bird in there, and that's fucking disgusting. Yeah. 
Okay, so uh, the incident occurred November 28th. There's a video on YouTube, um, 72,000 views, I guess, already. And uh, people are... Because he took a video of uh, the uh, birds eating. Them. This isn't even fucking news. All I know. This is just like... Just this is like ridiculous. viral stuff. I think it's just so stupid. Um, this one's kind of funny. Um, so this old guy, he's like 80 years old. Um, he lives in... Uh, where does he live? What's his address? Fuck, I hate all these like... Answer this question on a quick poll to access this article. What? No, I don't want to. Fuck you. You know what would be really good right now? Oh a Kinder God. egg. I got one of those Kinder Surprise oh, I advent bought... calendars. They're so good. Or, or I put, we were at the dollar store and I put two in our bag before we left. Like we paid for them. <laughs> but I, but, <laughs> and then I don't know wherever they went. Well, you didn't get one. <laughs> I guess not. I, I put two in there and then I, I totally forgot about that. Kinder surprises suck now. No, they're so well. The toys suck. Yeah, the, the toys suck. So oh yeah, good. the chocolate's amazing. But yeah, the toys suck. Like I remember as a kid, you'd have like you spend like half an hour building like a little car when you spin it up into a drive and like stuff like that. I mean, to be fair, we were dumb as kids, and it probably well, yeah. But now Kinder surprises is like it has to be easier so kids don't feel bad about themselves if they can't figure it out. That's bullshit. It's like if it your kid's dumb, you. do not buy them a Kinder surprise. Yeah, or save the toy for yourself. Also, I think parents suck now oh okay i wanted to talk about spanking because i felt like you were getting on to the like kids should be spanked and they I was should like, no no they should not i'm gonna hit my kid i am not gonna hit my kid and here is why i'm gonna I tell wrote, you why i'm gonna hit my okay, kid then you tell me why you're gonna hit and your then, kid and then you shut your mouth for a minute so i can say my and piece. then i'll share jamie's opinion because she works at a daycare okay and then i'll share uh, all of the scientific research behind it so go for it okay you go ahead why, why should we not hit kids? Okay. I wrote a paper on this. Oh, did you? And it did very well. Oh, did it? It did. So, basically, it doesn't teach the proper behavior that you're supposed to do instead. It just violates the trust between you and your child. And I understand that you're, like, frustrated with a acting out child, but it just does so much more harm in the long run than it does good like it just stops it in the moment it doesn't teach them better behavior it doesn't teach them an alternative of how to act instead what they see in their minds because they're not thinking like oh they're hitting me because i'm doing this they're just thinking oh they're hitting me i better stop everything i'm doing so they just shut down instead of being like what you're doing is wrong instead do this and it's just it's like i think it depends adult. on what age they are though like if if they're old enough to understand what they're doing is wrong, they're old enough to understand that they're getting smacked because they shouldn't be doing that. But Not like, also, I should just stop everything I'm doing and lay down and just... Yeah, but that's also an embarrassing thing for a kid. And it, like, violates the trust because you're a grown adult. And what you have to do to discipline your child is to hit them? Like, oh, yeah, that's... yeah, smack them right in the face. That's horrible. <laughs> like, no, like, I'm, that's such a I violation. never, like, No, hit, I know, but, like... But, like and I the think, thing is, too, like, it's not regulated by the government. It's just all it says in the Constitution or whatever is, like, it's acceptable force. But, like, if you're a frustrated parent and you've been working all day, like, what is acceptable force if you're just out of your mind with your kid? Yeah, okay, so there's that. There's, like, people that are just insane mm. that obviously should not be hitting their kids. But also, like, as a kid, if I did something stupid, mm -hmm. I knew what I was doing. If I went into the backyard, we had chains in our backyard, like, for our offenses... And if I was hanging on the chain, I'm looking around, make sure my parents aren't there because I wanted to play on the chain. I know I'm not supposed to be doing. I play on the chain. It's fun. My dad comes out and goes, what are you doing? And I'm like, playing on the chain. And, and he goes... Did you have toys as a kid? Like, No, I had like cardboard boxes and stuff that I love playing with. I like played with like a lot of random stuff. I never actually like... I had toys, but I never played them. Um, he would come out and he'd be like, did I tell you not to play on the chain? I was like, yes, you did. And he's like, what are you doing right now? I'm, like, I'm playing on the chain. He's like, all right. And he'd smack me on the butt, spank me, or he'd be like, no, don't do that. Or he'd be like, I'm going to get the wooden spoon. And I'm like, no, I don't like that. And then afterwards, I'd be like, ow, that hurt. I don't enjoy getting spanked. Mm -hmm. So then he's already told me not to play on the chain. He told me, I don't want you to play on it because you might get hurt. And because it might damage it. And I think that you, sh you should play with something else instead. I'm like, no. I want to play on the chain. Like, I was a little shit, right? So then I would do it again, and then he'd be like, boom, right on the butt. Do not do that. And then the next time, I'm in the backyard, and I look at the chain, and I'm like, I'm going to go play on that chain. And I stop, and I go, I got spanked last time I played on that chain. I do not want to play on that chain anymore. I if he If he just that. kept on telling me, like, don't do that, you're going to get hurt, I'd be like, 
fuck you, Dad. I'm going to go play on the chain anyways. Just in your little Or he'd be like, I'm going to take voice. away your stuff. And be like, you can't take away the chain. <laughs> I'm going to take away your PlayStation. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go play on the chain. No, that's when you do timeouts. That doesn't work. It Time out. What do you want to do? Go sit at the table for like an hour. There's just other ways to do it. Like, you take away other things. Not for some kids. Okay, well, you're a piece of shit, so, like, Most sure. kids are pieces of shit. I don't know. This conversation's <laughs> making me angry. Why? Because <laughs> I grew with Justin and not Ashley. Oh, yeah, see, Kate, <laughs> Jamie's here. Do you want to come and join us for a second? And talk about... And talk about childs and why we should hit them? Childs? Yeah, okay, you come sit. Jamie is the child expert. Uh, she actually <laughs> took early child care, like a program, and um, I'm just going to move this back a bit so we can have a, a conversation about this. I hope that was very noisy. Um, so, yeah, why should we hit kids? <laughs> you make it sound, like, really horrible. No, I don't. Like, I mean, yes, like, you do. No, but, I don't. But, like, yeah, I, like, discipline definitely needs to be upped. Kids get away with so much. Because, like, yeah, we see a lot of children that you can tell they get away with everything at home. Everything. Yeah, because parents don't hit their kids. No, I think the thing is parents don't parent their kids. Like, well, that too. Like, you actually but also, discipline your child. I think that, like, like, okay, you're at work. Do you think if you were able to spank the kids at work, they would be better? I don't know. It depends on the kids. Yeah. Like, if a kid, like, a little shit. You tell me about little shits all the time. <laughs> Most kids are little shits. A lot of them. Yeah. And it's because their parents are like, don't do that. And they're like, okay, I'm going to take away this. They're like, okay. A lot of parents aren't even like, don't do that. They're like, they just redirect them. Because a lot of people are taught to just redirect their attention to something else. No, that's but what Ashley like, said to do to their kid. You, when you, <laughs> when you don't, that. like, sternly say what was wrong, then they... They don't know that it was wrong. Yeah, you have to explain why. Well, yeah, my dad would be like, don't go on the chain because you're going to hurt yourself. I don't want you to get hurt. Just because you're a dumb child. No, because like, lots of kids are like that. I'd be like, I don't care if I get hurt. Yeah, a lot of kids are like, I don't care. Yeah, Whatever exactly. I want to do it. And then, and then it's just like, but next time I go to look at the chain, I'm like, I got spanked last time. I'm not going to go do that because I don't like getting spanked. Yeah. That's like, so my dad would flick me. He did a lot of flicking. Be like, don't do that, punk, right in like the forehead or something like that, and I'd be like, oh, okay, I won't do that anymore. Like, it's not enough to like bruise your kid or like cut your kid, but it's enough to be like, okay, like it's like a dog. You're like a dog. My okay, so do you believe in hitting a dog? No. Like spanking your dog or being like, no, don't do that. Like roll a piece of to- like, like normal spray piece it in of- the face with some water or something. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the same thing. So like. If your dog is like Just, doing something stupid, I would spray my kid in the face with some water. <laughs> yeah, I no, would hit my kid. but it's a little bit different for like a kid. But like, so your dog is like getting into shit that it shouldn't be doing. You're like, no, pss, spray them water. They're like, eh, and yeah, they like, go away. Then you Next associate time. with that as a bad thing. So exactly, like, it's the same with kids. Boom, right in the head. Just well, like don't parents don't punish their kids to begin with. They don't like explain why something's wrong. They just try to distract their kid. Well, yeah, I think you should always explain why something's wrong, and then afterwards, if it doesn't work, then you have to give them like, if you do this, this is gonna happen. If you do this, this is going to be taken away. If they don't respond to that, if you do this, then you have to do a timeout. If they don't respond to that, then it's like, okay, if you don't do this, yeah. I'm going to flick you in the head. Okay, it shouldn't be like a first response. It shouldn't be like, oh my god, you're frustrating me. I'm going to slap the shit out of you. Yeah, no, not that. See, people are crazy if they do that. Yeah. But like, if they're, if your kid is just not responding to anything else, just flick them in the head. It's not going to hurt them that bad. It'll be like, oh, that hurt, and then they won't do it again. But the thing is, if they don't listen to anything and you're being really like persuasive and you're telling them what's wrong like there might be something actually wrong with your child if they actually don't <laughs> no they're just kids these things they're just kids and they need to be like if they don't respond the to anything like there could be something actually wrong i don't know i feel like a lot of the time it's just the kid is trying to push your buttons and they're gonna push you as far as you can go um like honestly to get what they want and I see a lot of kids that do, like, you will threaten kids, like, threaten sounds like a bad word, but threaten them with, like, losing stuff, like. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna I, take away your toys, or. Yeah, or, like, I, I had a little girl the other day that I was, like, like, Santa's gonna be really sad, he's not gonna want to bring you presents if you act like this, mom's gonna be really sad, you're making me really sad, like, trying to make, <laughs> like, honestly, trying to make the kid feel bad, too. A yeah. lot of them, like, care if their mom and dad are sad. And, like, obviously, they're around Christmas saying Santa's not going to bring them presents. <laughs> Santa's bringing you coal, you little that shit. That works for a lot of kids, honestly, but, like, nothing was working. And I was just, like, like, she's just being, she was being rude. She was just, like, yelling and running around. And I was just, like, what else? Like, what am I going to do right now? Yeah. Other than, like, 
using like, words like this isn't working like, they can't do anything we yeah. can't do anything so I had, a, it's well a in my situation i had other kids to attend to yeah. so i had to give her to the office for them to deal with oh, okay. so i couldn't follow through with but stuff. the office can't do anything either yeah. she just gets away with everything because they can't be like boom flicky on the head but that's a hard situation too because in the daycares right mm-hmm. like the parents aren't there <laughs> Yeah, it's You're just like moving around the thing. So no one can follow through with discipline. Like you guys don't have any real power. Not a and lot of the it, office honestly. doesn't have no. and the parents don't see them enough for them to like have super big authority, which is like a problem. Yeah, because well I mean the parents aren't in their lives. I have a problem with daycare in the first place. But But like obviously it's not like a number one choice for a lot of people. Like people have to work. Yeah, but I mean like I hope that there's it, parents watching or listening to this and they're just like there's like fucking 20 year olds talking about how to do no idea yeah you have no idea i get most parents are like you have no idea i need to hit my kid because like if you have kids let us know the way that like like our the generation of before us grew up Mm. if you do something stupid you got smacked yeah i feel like the generation before us has a lot more respect for their parents than we ever did for ours like not like us three like i think like we're like good people but i think like our generation has a lot less respect for our parents than the generation before us because we know we're like you can't hit me it's against the law or you can't do this you can't do this i know you can't do that but like if it's just like boom they're like okay maybe i shouldn't talk to my parents like that yeah but the generation before us got hit by their parents so they grew up thinking like i'm not going to hit my kids and I'm not going to punish my kids. Or, like, they grow up resenting their parents yeah. for, like, being so harsh on them. So then they just don't do anything to discipline our generation. And I feel like there's a really big difference, like, um, whether or not you grow up in the city and whether or not you grow out of town, too. Yeah, because you're just, you're raised in a totally different environment. Yeah. With totally different... But I think that if my kid is doing something and is not listening to anything else, I will flick them. Or I will... Like, smack them on the butt. I'll smack well, yeah, like again. say your kid. I'm not gonna punch my kid in the face. No, like I'm not an not. idiot, like, but when they're like younger than two, obviously it's like different. But once they're like three, four, five, once old they're old enough, enough to, to know that they're doing something that you asked them specifically not to do, yeah, then well, like what do you do? Your kid's sitting there screaming their head off. Yeah, you're in public. Yeah, they're screaming their head off. Even if you're not in public, you're at home. It's obviously annoying, and you don't want them to scream their head off. You're like, please don't do that. Please don't do that. It hurts my ears. Please don't do that. You're going to hurt your throat. Like, you try to give all these reasons why they shouldn't do it. Mm. And, like, please don't do that. You're not, you're, I'm going to take your toys away. They don't care. They're going to keep going. What yeah. do you do? Yeah. I think I'd cover their mouth. Yeah. Yeah, you're not allowed to cover mouths at we daycare. You can't cover their mouth at daycare. That's they can crazy. scream as much. We can restrain them to the point where, like, to protect ourselves. So if they can't like, hit you or if, Yeah, if they're trying to hit us or something. Mm. But we can't, like, cover their mouth if they're, like, screaming. But... Like, in that situation, like, yeah, I would probably, like, cover my child's mouth and, like, Spank get angry. Them. And, yeah, I would honestly probably, like, flick them or something. Yeah, and, to like... get them to stop, because, like, that's it's, not okay. And it's funny, because you were always completely against it until you started working at a daycare, and then you kind of started realizing... Well, you can see... we Like, we've had parents tell, like, like mention, like, that they, like, will spank their kids or whatever. And mm. those are the better kids. Yeah. The kids that we, we we talk to all the parents obviously, and the kids that are the hardest for us, like we've talked to them, or like like we explain how they had a bad day and like he wasn't listening today. Like, what do you guys do at home so we can be on the same page? Mom's like, um, nothing really. <laughs> yeah, she I mean, literally yeah. said nothing for one kid. I was just like, okay, <laughs> that's why so he's such a little piece of shit. Like yeah, yeah, like, you don't like do yeah, the, the parents that are like, oh, we'll spank them, and it's like those are the good kids. Because they learn to respect and they learn that things that they do that are against the rules or bad, they're going to be, there's going to be issues and then they don't do them anymore. Like, I like Jamie's perspective, right? Like, you try other things and you explain to them why it's wrong. And if it's a last resort and they know why this is happening, fine. Yeah. But I also don't think that it's fair to, like, equate, like, parents who don't do anything versus parents who spank their kids. Because I think there's other way to discipline the kids. Yeah, there is. And for some kids, it works. Yeah. For some kids, you're like, I'm going to take away your toy. And they're like, oh, my God, I do not want my toy taken away. I will not do that. Well, and that works for the parents who actually follow through. A lot of parents would be like, I'm going to take away your, nowadays, It's It's like, I'm going to take away your iPad. Yeah, yeah, your iPad for, like, a three-year-old. And then the kid, like the parent, never follows through. So the kid's like, "Yeah, okay, sure you are." Yeah. yeah. So that's a big thing. But the parents that say that and then will follow through, then the kid will be, like believe them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or like, yeah, I don't know. I will spank my kid if I need to. Or flick him. I'll probably flick. Hey, flick him hurts. Flick your kids. But I'm not gonna flick yes. him like super hard because I could probably knock him over. Yes. I have a hard flick. My dad. That was always. I always. So if I was freaking out. 
my mom would be like, I'm going to spank you. And, like, by the time I got, like, old enough, I'd get, like, eight or nine. My mom was like, I'm going to spank you. I'm like, do it. Because <laughs> I like, got to me. the point where I'm like, try me. She would spank me. I'd be like, didn't hurt. And then dad would come home. And she'd be like, dad's going to flick you. And I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. I'd never do it again. And, like, I started, but then by the time I got to, like, 11, dad's going to flick you. I'm like, try me. <laughs> and to that, that, that's at the point where my dad's just like, I'm just going to hate you. I'm like, shit, okay, never mind. And then at that point, I was just like, okay, yeah, there we go. Yeah, but did you do those kind of things just to, bu- to bug your parents? Yeah, oh yeah. Like, it depends. Like, I, I never got hit as a kid because I was a good kid. I never needed to. I was a good kid too, but like, I, I did like something I stupid. It's not like I never got in trouble, trouble yeah. but like, it never got to the point Yeah. I needed to. Like, I was never, like, I was respectful to my mom. Why yeah. did you do it though? Was it just to get like attention? Because a lot of the times when you're acting out, it's not because you actually want to do the thing that you're doing. It's because yeah, you it's want mostly because you want or... attention. So that's the thing is like if if your parents are, like trying to talk to you and be like, okay, don't do that. Okay, don't do that. Like then like they're, you're giving them the attention yeah. that they want. You're but if they're just like boom, flick you in the head, you're like, oh, okay, I didn't get the attention I wanted. I just got flicked in the head. I'm not gonna do that yeah, again. Yeah, like but the thing is like when someone's acting out, you're reinforcing their bad behavior by being like, please don't do that. Don't do it. Like yeah. you just have to show them that like you're not gonna get what you actually want out of the. Situation. So you just flick them in the head. <laughs> sure. You just flick them in the forehead, they don't get any attention, and they get disciplined for what they're doing. And then they'll finally realize they should do something positive to get the attention. Exactly. That, but sometimes, like, the worst kids get more attention. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of the time that happens. Because you have to deal with them more. Yeah, you have to deal with them. You have, you're talking to them more because you're, like, yelling at them, basically. So, but, like, you, like, a lot of parents don't recognize their kids doing, like, the good things. Yeah. And like Which like, I think you need to praise a lot more. Yeah. yeah. Which I've been pretty like I try really hard to always But also don't um, praise your kid too much. Well yeah. Like if you it's don't like want them to you think put your like, shoes on, oh, good goodness. job. Yeah. I love you so much. Great job for putting your shoes on. It's like Like every time, yeah. Like yeah, I mean, you don't like, want to give it to them too much praise because then they think they're the the bomb and Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. Like Manny off Modern Family. <laughs> I have to pee so bad I'm shaking, so let's end this now. <laughs> okay, yeah. Good discussion. Uh, 42 minutes long, though. Okay, oh, bye. Okay, <laughs> bye. Thanks for coming on, Jamie. Yeah, thank The you, child Jamie. care expert telling me that I'm right and Ashley's wrong. Okay, well, thanks for listening, everybody. So, uh, do the patrons. Thanks, guys, for watching. There's a video coming on Friday. I'm going to go pee while you're doing all of this stuff, and then we're going to okay. the videos. Okay, we got uh, Sarah Moore. We got uh, Millie the Kitten, Cheryl Shannon, Megan Nick. Make K, Megan K, uh, Melly the Kitten on Instagram. We got Megan uh, Nicole K83, uh, something like that. She didn't. She just wrote down people's names. She didn't give me all the links. Um, so I think there's, uh, yeah, just those four. Thank you very much. Okay, bye.